today. How are you doing, Michael? Hello. You all right? You? Very good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So, you've come down in your sleeper, Skoda yeah. Superb. Do you want to yeah. go into a little bit of detail? Yeah, I mean, I bought this car a couple of years ago and I decided that uh, even though it's quite a quick car from the factory, mm. it comes with the same engine as the uh, S3 and the Golf R and it's making 280. It's just a slightly detuned. Uh, and it comes also with the same four-wheel drive as the Golf R and the S3. I wanted some more power. So I started playing with it a bit. Uh, I went to stage one, stage two, and then I thought, you know what? I want it to be fast. Mm. So I decided I'm gonna go for a full stage three, but so that I don't have any issues with the engine, I thought I'm gonna get a brand new engine. I bought a brand new sealed engine uh, that was made for an S3 and I fully forged it. Is the engine that was in it before different to the S3 engine that you say? It or? is the same engine, uh, it just, uh, uh, Volkswagen rebrands them and just puts, you know, a stamp saying S3 or Golf R. Yeah. Uh, but this one even had the Audi symbol on it. Uh, it they come from the same factory, yeah, but yeah. it was funny to see that the one I decided to buy the brand new one had the Audi symbol on it <laughs> instead of a Skoda. Yeah. So some people say, you know, you've got a Skoda. Yeah, it's a Skoda, <laughs> but it's an Audi. It's a Volkswagen. It's the same car. So you forged the engine, and who is it you chose to modify the car then to do with the I forging? got uh, Ecotune in Scotland. They did with the modification, uh, and uh, it's been uh, fully... Um, uh, remapped. Uh, I've got also the ARP uh, clutch uh, pack uh, which allows it to run more torque without any issues and that's also uh, been remapped yeah. and it's got so much more uh, at the same time. I wanted a car that is fast but it's also reliable and it handles well without being overwhelming. So why would you go with a Skoda Superb out of all of, you know, you could have got a Golf R or something smaller. Is there a reason? Is it the luxury you wanted or? Well, I wanted the luxury. I wanted to be different and I also wanted the space. This is uh, the size, uh, inside it's got the size of the A8. From the outside, there's not much giving it away. So sorry, did you mention the power? Uh, well, it made 560 uh, last time I tested it. And uh, to be honest, it could have done more but I wanted to give it, keep it simple, reliable, without running too much boost. Yeah. It could run more power if somebody wanted, uh, but as I said, for me, it was more than enough. It's a very fast car, mm. the way it is. Okay. It's, uh, let's put it that way, uh, it's as fast as the latest M5. Wow, it's uh, that fast? That's fast enough for me. And I'm surprised at the weight, you said it was only 1550 kg. 1541, it was the last time I put it on the scales. Wow, and that's not because you've stripped it or anything, that's just... No, that's how it is. The only thing that has that it's a bit different is the uh, alloy wheels. The ones I've got on that are a bit lighter, yeah. and uh, for me they look nicer, but uh, they wouldn't make a huge difference, maybe uh, 20 kilos uh, altogether. Okay, and um, yeah, that is probably the only slight giveaway, isn't it, from the exterior, right, the wheels? Well, uh, for, yeah, for one thing it is, but on the other hand, they are even smaller than the original one, so they are 17 inch. Yeah. And I don't think many people would think that a car with 17 inch wheels it would make almost <laughs> 600 horsepower. Yeah, no, I don't think I would think it was 600, but um, definitely um, you've got the uh, bigger brakes as well, haven't you? You've got the Tarex. They've got, uh, yeah, there are better uh, brakes uh, front and rear. I've changed uh, the brakes, the parts, uh, uh, I put braided lines, better fluid. Mm. It stops really well. Yeah, and then uh, suspension? I decided to go with the Bilstein B14s. So I've used it in quite a few of my cars. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good suspension. It handles much better, but on the other hand, it doesn't make it very harsh. I took it to Santa Port a few times. I just wanted to be as good uh, as possible on the road. I mean, it's a car I've used for my family. I'm gonna have two small kids at the back. I wanted to stop uh, on a dime. Is this your only car? Uh, at the moment, I've got uh, another car, but it's much smaller, so. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to say I've got a, a very nice uh, Abarth 595. And that's really track -based, That's uh, That one I've been using on the track. Okay. So interior-wise, might anything going on? Well, uh, I've changed the steering wheel. I put an Alcantara flat bottom steering wheel from a different model that looks so much better. And it also, does. Yeah. yeah, it's quite warm in winter that helps. This is the LNK model, which is the model that has practically every extra you can get. It has adaptive cruise control, it's got uh, the heated seats, uh, electric seats, it has a Canton uh, sound system that sounds fantastic and much more. I mean, the list of stuff this car has is almost as long as uh, an S8. This little box was for holding change yeah. and now 
It has a boost meter and also the control for the meth injection. It wow, has nice. water meth injection, which is fantastic. Yeah. Keeps it cool uh, during the summer. I didn't map it for the inje uh, meth injection because I didn't want uh, to compromise reliability. So if for any reason the water meth system stops working, there's not going to be any difference on the car. Uh, I only included it uh, for keeping uh, the heat down if you take it to extreme conditions in the summer. So it's not reliant on the meth, yeah? Not it's at just all. It's cooling aid. Not yeah? at all. It's only using it over a certain boost. Mm. So you could take a whole trip around Europe and it, couldn't, it wouldn't use anything except for the times you would use it to overtake. So, and if you disconnected the meth, it would still run 560, yeah? Still run 560. Okay, it brilliant. just, if you went to the track in extreme conditions and you ran many laps, uh, the ECU on this car might have cut the power slightly, like it does for any car with this ECU, but with the water meth it won't. Yeah, I was going to say that, so is the DSG box the same as what you'd get in the Golf R? Or? It's exactly the same, but they also added the uh, uh, APR uh, clutch kit, which allows for more power and torque. Got a meth pack that is hidden at the back, you cannot see it when the compartment is closed, it just goes in the steering, uh, where the place we could put uh, the spare wheel. Okay. So you can have a look here. It's hidden down here, but when you close it, it's completely yeah. hidden. What size is the tank? Is, what, the, what come, what, what it's approximately tank? five liters. I've used the components and I built a, a, a tank uh, and a system that was custom uh, made uh, okay. by a company in the UK specifically for my car. Right. So I used the best components I can find online without going to you know crazy uh, systems that would be used in a race car because I didn't want it to be noisy mm. or compromise the look of the car. Now for the exhaust, uh, a lot of people go for exhaust that uh, are you know ready made on the shelf but what I wanted to do was to create something uh, very nice so I went to a company called Aris Fabrications uh, that make custom exhaust for Aston Martins and uh, uh, also for quite a few racing cars and the many classics so they created a full custom exhaust it cost quite a bit we're talking about uh, three thousand pounds but it sounds wow. fantastic without the drawing on the highway yeah it's got a nice hum now as well isn't it and what nice. tips have you got on it uh, the tips, I put some Akrabovic uh, uh, carbon ones uh, uh, and uh, I made sure that uh, I got the original ones, not the you know cheap imitations you find on eBay. Yeah, yeah. You've got the uh, R888 R tyres on as well, yeah? Yes, so these ones I put, uh, you know, to use for the summer, but uh, I also have got uh, other wheels with winter tyres I can use for winter. Okay. So it's just completely factory under there, isn't it? You can't see anything. And I see you've got the uh, racing line induction. I've got the racing line induction, the Turbo Techniques uh, hose, and I've got also an oil catch system uh, from uh, racing line and some uh, improved uh, engine mounts. Yeah. But uh, if somebody doesn't know the car, to be honest, they wouldn't even think that anything is, you know, different no, no, than no the way. factory one. No way. And uh, you've got the Turbo Techniques uh, pipes as well, boost pipes and stuff. Yeah, like that. I think they, that gives a good uh, increase in power because of the thicker diameter. I chose engine mounts that are really good uh, for uh, the engine to keep the vibrations out of the car, but also don't make it harsher uh, when you stand and you're idling. Should we um, hit the road? Yeah, that would be lovely. Please. Yeah. that uh, not all of my family members know how much I spend on the car so <laughs> trying to keep it a bit quiet. So we've got to keep this one in the D-Log. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, left or right? Yeah, right please. Well, I love that Alcantara rule, you know that. I think it, love really, it works really well, you know, yeah, and yeah. with a nice up market quality of the car. I think this wheel is a little bit bigger than the Golf R wheel as well, isn't it? Well, this Alcantara one, it's uh, almost the same. The previous one was bigger. Okay. The original one was quite big. That's why I replaced it. What's this in now? Is this in um, normal drive mode, yeah? That's in a nice yeah, sport mode. Um, <laughs> very effortless power. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds just like a Golf 4, obviously it is, isn't it? It's an S3 engine, you say, yeah? It is. 
I can feel the gearbox as well. It's just like the Golf R. It's like selecting the correct gear every mm -hmm. time. Downshift perfectly. Let's give it a little.
Stratford upon Avon, and they're selling it for me. Okay. So it's gonna, you know, it's been checked by the company, it's been valeted, it's been nicely cleaned, they've got it. It's one of the few cars they've got inside the showroom, and they don't even leave it outside. What are you gonna do after this? Are you gonna buy some of your cars? I know you said you've got the Abarth. Well, I've got the Abarth, which uh, hopefully we'll see, uh, you know, in this video, later on this video, but uh, I'm gonna have uh, just a simple family car, you know, to take the kids around. But uh, that's going to be something very simple and, uh, you know, uh, fuel efficient, let's put it that way. Well, right, so guys, going to end the video there. Mike, thank you so much for letting me take pleasure. a little drive in the car. Uh, it's only a short one, uh, but I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, still remember to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.